hello and salut everybody welcome back to the channel so on my second video today i want to talk about a topic um that is very very important and it's a famous saying of fake it till you make it you know how everybody fake it till you make it um i want to talk about that and i want to tell you um why I don't agree with fake it till you make it in a particular sense. But before we get to it, I want to welcome you back to the channel. Um, if you have not subscribed, you know I'm going to ask you, so I want you to subscribe. If you're new, uh, welcome you to the family. Subscribe and check the notification bell. Share this video with everyone you know. That's all I'm asking from you guys. I am asking you to please share this video, like, and also check out the rest of the videos. All right. Thank you very much for your support and thank you for indulging me. <laughs> so every time I hear this uh, over and over and I feel like it is time for me to address it. And this is something that you may have already heard. You may have advised somebody to do. You may even be in a position right now. You may be in a situation where you are doing the same thing. And that is um, believing that you can fake it to get a man, hoping that you can actually you can actually make it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You fake it to get a man or to get a, 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 a woman. I'm talking specifically about marriage. So I hear people say, fake it to get this special, this, you know, man that you want till you make it. That's the hope. Or I hear people tell their friends, I heard, I've been told this many, many, many times. Um, if you want a specific man, you want a successful man, or you want a man of your dreams, you need to fake it to get him, you know, marry him, and hopefully you make it. <laughs> no, they don't tell the hopefully part. They just like fake it till you make it. Fake it till you get somebody. And whatever happens, it doesn't matter. So me specifically, I've been told so many times, um, and this is not true, by the way, they will tell me that the reason why I'm not married is because I don't know how to fake it till I make it. So meaning I don't know how to fake it with a man, you know, pretend to be somebody, you know, to get a man. Um, so I heard it, like I said, I heard it so many times. You just want to be you you're all the time. You just want to be real. You know, sometimes you just need to fake it. If you don't fake it, you're not going to get a man. So what we are discussing today, if you haven't figured that out yet, uh, we are discussing the fact that I don't believe in faking it till you make it when it comes with getting a husband or getting a wife or getting married or going out with somebody, getting in a relationship. That's the right way to put it. I don't believe in it. The only time that I believe in fake it till you make it is uh, believe in doing that when you are not a good person or when you don't know how to do something good. And I believe that you fake doing it until it's second nature for you. Let's say that, for example, I'm going to use something simple. Let's say that you don't know, you don't say thank you. You know what I mean? You don't thank people. Fake saying thank you to people until it's second nature for you. You know, um, you don't you don't hug people or you don't do you don't you don't give money at church, for example. Continue doing it, even though you don't like it. You don't do it. Fake doing it until you it's second nature for you. So I believe in doing a good thing. If you're not used to doing something good, fake doing it like pretending or force yourself that's the word force yourself to do it until you are able it's second nature for you in that sense i believe and and i support but in the sense to fake it to get a husband to fake it and get in a relationship fake it and get you know 
a, a, a wife, I don't agree with that. I am 100% against it. So if that's the reason why I am not married as of yet, because I'm being real to myself, I cannot fake it, <laughs> then we have a problem. <laughs> that means that all the men out there want fake people, want people to pretend to be other people. So you see, that's what I'm saying. If, uh, if uh, me being real is the reason why I'm not, for, I'm not married, then we have a, you know, deeper problem. And that's a conversation for another day. And you know, I would love to have that conversation with you. So I want to, you know, let you know that stop encouraging others to fake it, to get a man or to get a, a, a wife and stop faking it to get a man or to get a wife. Um, stop encouraging others to do the same. And stop believing that faking it to get in a relationship is going to work because it doesn't work. Let me give you an example. So if you fake it till you get a husband, there was a lady, actually, before we get to that, there was a lady who was telling me that to fake it, I should fake it, you know, to get married, to get a, a man. But that person that I was telling me this, faked it she was going through a situation herself because she faked it and cannot carry on but she's encouraging me to fake it and get a husband so when we are telling people to fake it till we we make it fake it to get a relationship a man uh, uh, or a, a woman we don't think about the making part we don't think about the other part we just think about getting the man today we're just thinking about the, uh, the title of marriage, the title of relationship, the title of having a man, faking it to have it. But we don't think about, okay, tomorrow, <laughs> how long are you going to fake having your long hair? How long are you going to fake having those lashes? <laughs> how long are you going to fake knowing how to cook? How long are you going to fake being domesticated when you are not? How long are you going to fake having that perfect accent when you don't have it? How long are you going to fake, you know, having that perfect teeth when they are not your teeth? How long are you going to hold it? How long are you going to pretend that you love him when you really don't? How long are you going to pretend that you like his family, his children, when you really don't? How long are you going to pretend that you have family or you love your own family, you love your own children when you really don't? How long can you pretend to be something that you're not? That's my question. That's why I don't believe it. This is why I don't see, I don't believe in it. Because no person can pretend to be truthful when they really are not truthful. There's no person that can pretend to be somebody for so long, for your whole life. And remember, marriage is for the rest of your life. So if marriage is for the rest of your life, can you fake being this person for the rest of your life? Can you be somebody else for the rest of your life? Can you fake doing something for the rest of your life? Can you fake that, you know, hair for the rest of your life? You can't. It's impossible. So that's why I'm saying fake it till you make it to get a man, to be in a relationship, in a marriage. It is wrong. We cannot, we should not be doing it just for the sake of it. Just because we're getting older, just because we won the title, just because somebody else, you know, all our friends are getting it, are doing it. We want to do it because it is not going to last. And that is the problem. That is the problem. That is the problem. I am saying it three times. That is a major problem. It's not about the, 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 the sake of it, the name of it. It's not about fitting in just because everybody else is married. It is not about that. So we have to think about the making part, but not the faking part, not the beginning part. Tomorrow, what is going to happen? You know, when you fake it, you get this handsome man and then you got in bed 
And then the next morning, <laughs> they can't recognize you. <laughs> what happens? When you fake marrying this person, pretending, you know, temporarily, pretending to be this perfect woman, you know, with clear skin, you know, he's thinking that all those lashes are your lashes, you know, your lips, your, 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 your behind, all of that is yours. You know, you are this, you know, person that he fell in love with. And after the wedding, you like, you can't keep it up anymore. After the wedding, you're like, okay, we are married. Now I can be myself. No, the man does not know you. So when you do that, when you become yourself after the wedding, he doesn't know you. You are this new person he never met. So there goes the problem. So now you start fighting. And then you feel like, oh, you don't love me. You don't like me. You can't, you know, you, you can't sacrifice for me. All of that. No, it's because he does not know you. I'm, I'm saying the same thing. It's vice versa. If you are men, you're doing that. The girl does not know you anymore. If you pretend to be somebody, you cannot carry her for so long. So you wake up now, you becoming this person, you know, he does not know you anymore. So that means that. If he loves you enough, then that means he's got to work hard to get to know you. That is if he wants that relationship. If he wants this to happen. If somebody who's responsible and somebody who really loved the marriage or think that he can make it, he can get to know this new you that he just discovered. <laughs> he just realized that, oh, uh, you don't have no hair. He just realized that, oh, you are shorter than you are. I know. You just realize that, oh my God, you look different with, without your lashes. You look different without your makeup. Oh, wow. This is a completely different person. So this man or this woman, they're going to have to learn to get to know you after the wedding. After you get married. Do you think it's fair? Is that fair for that person? Right now, that person is forced to be in a relationship with you because you are married if that person believe in marriage and believe in vows, that that person is forced to stay with you. That person may stay with you, but he will, he will have a resentment against you. All his, he, I mean, he will have resentment. There will be something that he will not trust you or he will have something going on. And that is a situation already that you have created in a marriage. So that is a big problem. So this is why I am saying my ladies, my friends, my family, you know, all of you who are encouraging and doing it and, and think that it is going to work. Yeah, you have to change your plans. You have to change your thinking. You have to change the way you do things. I know it is difficult to find a man. I know it's difficult to find this perfect man. I know it is not easy. But the... The faking it till you make it to get married or to get a man is not the right way to go. It is not the right way to go. It's the worst way to go. So just be yourself. We discussed about being yourself. If you are yourself and that man finds you and he loves you for who you are, then you don't have to struggle. You don't have to work on it. You don't have to. You already know you can get better and do better as a person, but he already knows you. You know what I mean? He already knows what he's getting into. So all I want to do, I don't want to drag this on because I know you get where I'm going. You get my point. You get why I don't believe in faking it till you, ma you make it for a relationship or a wedding, a marriage, uh, 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 for a man, for a woman, I don't believe in it. I don't think it's right. I think it's wrong. And I think we should stop faking it till we make it when it comes to that. We, st we should stop doing that and change our thinking. Be fair to the other person. Think about the other person. Think about a long haul, not just for the name, not just for the moment. Think about how long can you be fake for? Imagine, how long can you pretend? It won't take long. Even you, if you're an expert, <laughs> if you're an actress, you, you're going to break out of character. 
<laughs> you are going to break out of character because it is not you. So that's all I want to share with us today. Please think about it. Think about what I'm saying. And please let me know of your thought. You disagree with me. You have other things or you have a better way or you even, you know, think that there's a better things I can do. Let me know <laughs> to get my handsome husband or whatever. Let me know. I'm just, you know, I'm just putting it out there. But please, you know, this, this, this is, this is what love, this information, this topic, this uh, 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 discussion, this chatting is with all the love that I have. So I wish you guys all well. I just want the best thing for all of us. I just want us to do the right thing. I want, you know, us to have a better relationships. I want us to have a better marriages. And remember, you don't have to be married to know about marriage. Because I believe that's the problem. The problem is we don't know we're getting in it blind, blindsided. So it's important for you to even know the information, to know how to behave, how to act, what to do, what not to do before you actually get in it. So I don't want people judging, saying, oh, you're not married. You can't tell me about marriage. No, don't, don't let us think that way. You don't have to be married to know about marriage. You don't have to be married to, you know, talk to somebody, give advice to somebody who's married. Because that's the issue. We need to know before we get in. We need to prepare ourselves before we get in so that we can do the right thing, so that we can have a successful marriage. We can have a successful relationship. I still want to hear from you if you have anything to say, but stay safe and blessed, and I'll see you on the next video.